going to do the same thing we did before. Start out. And what type of fly is this? You're this is a brown bivisible. Okay. We're going to put on a base of thread, brown thread because the fly we're tying is basically brown. Now this one is the fly. This is the fly I use when the trout aren't eating any particular bug. And I just, it's a, it's a good searching pattern. That is, it's a good fly to put on that's easy to see and that the trout think is food. So it's a good one just to put on and search for trout with if they're not actively feeding. All right, we're gonna use brown hackle. Again, this is chicken feathers. It comes off this neck here. We're gonna use this feather to make the tail. So we'll take off some of this. So there's our tail. Now you want the tail about as long as this hook shank. All right, we'll tie that on. See, this is what the bobbin is for. It's like having really long little skinny fingers. Let's you get around the hook. We'll tie off, we'll cut off that excess junk there. All right, now we need a couple of feathers for the body feathers. <coughs> now what we're gonna use, again, is chicken feathers. Here's one I have left over from one I tied earlier. Now as you see on this fly, the back half is brown, the front half is white. So we're gonna tie the back, the brown feather on the back. Made there. All right, now we're going to put the white feather on the front. Let's see, where's my white feather? Now oh, that'll work. Now this feather is so long, you see that? We can get a whole, no, I don't want that feather. Where's the other one? I have? There we go. All right, this, this will work. So we're going to tie this on the front part there. This one's getting a little bit short, so I'm actually going to grab it. See, these hackle pliers here are made just to grab the tips of feathers. So my fingers won't have to hold on to it. They'll hold on to it. I'm just going to wrap this around the shank of the hook. Now I'm being really careful and slow here. What I'm doing is I'm making sure that they're all getting stacked right on top of each other so it makes a nice a lot of feathers on the chain. Come on. Wrap this right up to the front where the white feather is. And we're going to tie it up. We're done with the brown now. So we got the brown done. Get rid of this. There we go. Now we're going to wrap the, <clears throat> the white around. And the white might imitate wings, who knows? We don't know what trout are thinking. Go around about three times. Just put a little bit of white on the front of it. It makes it easier for me to see, too. And when you start getting as old as I am and your eyes are going bad, you need every advantage you can get. All right, that's it. Fly's done. That really makes it stand out on the front. Yes, and it makes it so much easier to see when it's floating in the river. If it's just all brown, it's really tough to sometimes see. Especially in some rust-colored water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you get, you know, you put that little bit of collar of white on the front of it, and um, <clears throat> it makes all the difference in the world to make it easier to see. So again, it's a nice little fly. Trim up some of these that got in the way there. And it's a good searching pattern, 
in that it's just a good fly. Just It floats high so it, it's easy to see and the fish, trout think it's a bug. So if they're not eating you know, anything else, this is a good one to put on. A little head cement to hold everything together. Get all the loot. There you go. Brown by visible. See how good it floats? I mean, it, it'll float on the water just like that, right on the tip of the fibers like that. It'll float just like that. It's a really good little fly.